Folks, today we're going to talk about spreadsheets. I'm going to use Google Drive spreadsheets as an example, but much of what you learn here can be applied to the other bigger name in spreadsheets, which is Microsoft Excel. I'm going with Google Drive simply because it's free and accessible to anyone with a Google Drive account. So I'm into my spreadsheet now, and if you're new to spreadsheets, there are three really important things that you need to know. And I'm going to review them right now, folks. Look across the top. The columns are lettered A, B, C. Got the alphabet for you to enjoy. Columns across the top. Rows are numbered. One, two, three. And onwards. So you've got columns and you've got rows. And everywhere a column and a row intersects, where they run into each other, that has a unique identifier. In this case, if I click on this box that has the word item in it, it has a unique identifier, and that is C3. You can make the battleship joke right now. Go ahead. Okay, we're past that. So C3, pizza is in C4. Now these little boxes are called cells. So each cell has a unique identifier. This is really important when you're referring to data either to another human, like, hey, take a look at what's in cell C5. Or when you are telling the spreadsheet to do something, like add up some cells or filter out some information. We'll get to that in that later, but understand columns, rows, cells. Those are your three big things. Now, what we have going on here is I've set up a little table just to add up our lunchtime situation. And I went ahead and just created two columns, item and cost, and then added in some of the things that we're going to buy for lunch, and I popped a total down here. There's no total yet. We'll get to that. A couple things I'd like to do first. So I just punched in the numbers, but you're looking at these and you don't know if this is dollars, calories, um, euros, yen. There's no way to know. So let's make this a little clearer. These are prices in dollars. So I'm going to highlight them. Now I could go through and put in a dollar sign dot zero zero next to each one or Watch how spreadsheets save you time. I've highlighted that chunk of information, that range of cells. I'm going to go up to the top menu bar. Follow along, friends. There's a little dollar sign up there. If I hover over it, it says format as currency. Let's click it. Look at all the time you save. Now, that's only four cells. That's only four numbers. I get that. What if it was 400? What if it was 4,000? That just saved you a lot of time, folks. Okay. So now I'd like to get a total. How much is this lunch going to cost me? So I'll highlight that range again. We're back to the top menu bar. Now we're cruising over to the right side all the way to the end. And you're going to see what looks like a funny looking E. These, this stands for functions. And we want the sum. Now keep your eye back on cell D8 next to the word total. I'm going to click sum. Here we go and it pops in a formula equals sum parentheses d4 colon d7 close parentheses that means hey add up everything between d4 and d7 add it up in this range you like it you press enter and it's done the math for you saves you time now what if you realize later on oh right I got the fancy pizza that was six bucks I'm gonna change that and press enter, notice it automatically updates the total. Saves you time. I think you get where I'm going with this. So Excel can help you manage data, it can help you do math, and it can save you time. And that's just the beginning. Let's look at a couple more things in our short introduction today. Um, we've done some work with numbers. We've learned about rows and columns. I want to talk just a little bit about formatting. So I'll highlight my item and cost, and I'd like to bold those. There's a B button up there, B for bold, right on. And I'd like to bold my total, 
and italicize it. So you do have formatting choices here, and those formatting choices, of course, include font color. So we could give that a blue. Our total is green. We could drop a background behind everything by back to the top menu bar, look for the paint bucket, and let's go for that strange color right there. So we've done some basic formatting with colors. We can also change what grid lines we see. The grid lines are the lines that run between rows, columns, and cells. And we have lots of choices here. Hover over and each one will tell you what you get. I'm going to go for this one, all borders. Make that a little bolder. And if I'd like to change my border color to bright red, I can. If I want to change my border style, I can make it more subtle dots. So formatting, adding by summing using the auto sum feature over here, changing currency using the currency button. That's a really quick introduction to Google Spreadsheets. Pay attention to future tutorials and I will link those in the comments below as I develop them. Thanks for watching. Enjoy Google Drive Spreadsheets. Play around with it and stay tuned for more.